welcome to Friday's Reflections. I hope you've managed to stay cool all week in this remarkable heat and, and I know it's scheduled to get hotter next week. It's been quite hard here because the kittens are still waiting for their second vaccination so they're not allowed out and um, we daren't open windows. Uh, without shutting doors so you can't really get any air flowing through the house so it's been like a, a bit of a sauna but they're, they're an absolute joy and a delight into everything hurtling around at 90 miles an hour and and, and very balletic their jumps are something to be uh, in awe of so that you may see them skitting across the settee at some point um, or you may hear them scrabbling on the floor um, I'm having a really good week. We've got a friend, um, a friend of mine from Hungary, who I've known for years, um, probably 20, over 20 years. Her daughter's come to stay with us. She's, she's 14 and uh, speaks the most fantastic English and it's just absolutely delightful having her with us. And amidst this week of announcements and all that's going on in the news, the scripture that's on my heart comes from the Old Testament and it's from Lamentations which follows Jeremiah and it's from chapter 3, chapter, uh, sorry, verses 22 to 24. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. And I just found that scripture so powerful. It made me think that amidst the news, amidst Ukraine, amidst the rising um, prices of things, of fuel, of food, of uncertainty, of... Um, what's happening in government. God is my rock and my hope is, is in him, in Jesus Christ. And therefore, I shall not be moved. I can be um, beaten and blown about and go through storms, but I'm standing on a rock. And I'm not, I don't know what you're standing on today. Maybe you are a believer and, and, and you attend church and, and you know that for yourself to be true. But maybe you just need to hear it again because sometimes we forget. We forget the power of, of scripture and we need to remind ourselves of who God is. He's not phased by what's going on in the government or in the world. He's not phased by chaos and corruption and lies and deceit. Those things have always been around. But in the midst of all the chaos and the darkness and the deceit. He's our hope and he's working his plan out. And there was one thing that really struck me this week that reminded me to look for what he's doing in the midst of things. And I really enjoyed Wimbledon this year. I haven't seen as much as I wanted to, but I did see quite a bit of it. And it was Sue Barker's last Wimbledon and there was this lovely tribute to her. And um, it gave me such hope because, um, she has a faith and, and, and she's Christian and um, I thought what a wonderful witness she was in that place all those years with all those tennis players um, coming across her um, and there she was faithfully serving and shining and it was a really wonderful tribute John McEnroe said such lovely things about her and I thought what a wonderful contrast they were to each other and I wonder what effect she'd had on him because we never realize the, the effect we have on others not because of us but because of Christ in us the hope of glory and um, it, it was just such an encouragement amidst all the news of, of um, what's happening in the Conservative Party. And so it's, um, it's that that I want to leave you with. What's your hope in? And perhaps if you're not uh, a believer, uh, you, you have no faith, then why don't you speak to somebody who, who does know Jesus? Why don't you ask some questions or 
or if you'd rather go to a service, go, go to church, or if that's a step too far, you can email us lots of things online where you can contact churches, or if you know somebody who's a believer, why not speak to them and ask them their story? Everybody's story to Jesus is different. Everybody's journey is different. Um, each one of us is unique and made in his image, and he, um, he draws us to himself. And I'm wondering, as I, I'm sharing this message, who, how he's drawing you to himself. And if you know him, I'm wondering how he's drawing you closer. Maybe you've been really despondent at this time with all the news and all that we've been through as, as a nation and nations with COVID. It's certainly been a challenging time. But I can tell you from the bottom of my heart that my faith has deepened. I, uh, my trust in God has deepened and um, whatever happens in the world my faith can't be taken from from me and um, and there's eternity with God eternity so often we put so much into getting the most out of our life on earth but what are your thoughts on eternity who do you want to spend eternity with um, so let me leave you with that it's quite a short message this week but um, one well worth pondering on so I'm going to end in prayer now almighty God our beloved and heavenly father we bow before you alone and we bless your holy name father son and holy spirit and Lord, we thank you for the gift of this day. And we thank you for, for the gift of this time. And we thank you, Lord, that nothing phases you. We thank you that nothing is impossible for you. We thank you that whether we can see it or not, you are working your purposes out. And your plan is perfect. And you desire all people to be saved. Lord, would you work through your people? Would you draw us closer to you and closer together? And would we, would we shine ever brighter for you day by day? Because we ask it in your name and for your sake. Well, I hope you have a great weekend. I don't know what you're doing this weekend. We're going to... Um, to Cambridge and to St Albans and I'm uh, really looking forward to that. We were thinking of going to London but I think the weather's going to be just too hot. Uh, but before I say goodbye I'd just like to read that scripture again to leave with you because it's such a beautiful scripture. And I, I'll just say again if you're not a believer and, and you feel you're not ready to, to speak to anybody yet, to visit a church or to speak to somebody who has faith then just, just get a copy of the Bible open it up and read something for yourself and I don't believe you'll be disappointed so I'll just end with that scripture again it's from Lamentations 3 22 to 24 the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end they are new every morning great is your faithfulness the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Have a great weekend and uh, really praying that you manage to stay cool in the early part of ne next week when it's forecast to be really, really hot. Um, and look forward to sharing with you next week. See you then. Mm -hmm.